The Jerusalem Post says Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu will be able to remain in power, but his right-wing coalition suffered a shocking setback in yesterday's election. A strong showing by more moderate rivals may force Netanyahu to include them in his new government. The Houston Chronicle reports a suspect has been charged in a shooting at a community college. An argument yesterday between two men escalated when one pulled a handgun. He wounded the other man and a maintenance worker. The alleged gunman is hospitalized with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The Washington Post says new federal rules would severely restrict medical and behavioral research on chimpanzees. It would send nearly all of the government's remaining 450 research chimps into retirement. The U.S. is the only country that keeps chimps for research. USA Today says existing home sales are expected to continue marching upward this year. Last year's sales hit their highest level in five years, rising more than 9 percent from 2011. And the Wall Street Journal says some companies are waking up to the problem of tired workers. Managers at Procter & Gamble and Goldman Sachs are investing in programs to help employees sleep better, like sleep hygiene courses and melatonin regulating lighting. Sleep deprivation costs U.S. companies more than $63 billion a year.